Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Many of you know I just bought this 2005 Toyota Sequoia just a few days ago and you know I have a list of repairs which needs to be done and I'm really worried right now about the power steering system. Let me show you why. I of course check bunch of stuff like engine oil and other stuff and that power steering system is on my high priorities. And of course before opening it right and servicing it you want to have it as clean as possible. So all that dust and dirt which is around here is not accidentally being introduced into the system. Now here comes the dipstick and that's why I'm worried about it because this one it's really really bad. Do you see that heavy black residue which is on top of it? This is nasty. This is one of the worst ones and it definitely calls for the action. See? Right? The inside of this power steering reservoir is nasty and all that right the contamination in the fluid can damage my power steering pump I want to prevent it so I will perform power steering fluid flush and basically power steering fluid flush is about replacing that old contaminated fluid with the brand new one I recently bought this nice professional large syringe, right? It says it's great for brake fluid, anti-freeze, anti power steering fluid and more. So let's go and try it in this job. So we will have also little tool review, right? While doing the power steering fluid. Look, this is really easy. Nice dual pump, there are dual seals, right? This one I bought in AutoZone, yeah, AutoZone, and it was approximately 30 bucks. So let's see how it works. Oh, wow, very smooth, very smooth, I like it. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Did you see how easy it was to get it out? And it's a fairly large, amount right you can suck a large amount of the fluid at once this is cool so that was just one evacuation let's see how much is left there not much that's amazing it really took almost all of it out and this is a actually large reservoir very cool very cool and many of you knows that this is the large reservoir, right? Some smaller car, cars like Corolla, they have smaller one, but this is the large one. And you saw I didn't get much of it, much of the fluid out, right? So that means it was actually low, but I cannot see it. This is so dirty, right? You can see it barely on the dipstick, but the fluid was low and that brings me to decision that this time i will not start putting a new fluid but i will completely remove that entire reservoir for further cleaning in order to remove that reservoir i will have to disconnect both hoses right to minimize the mess i placed a bunch of racks below the hoses and each hose is clamped, right, with those special clamps to prevent it leaking all over. And now I will just grab these two with pliers and disconnect them from that reservoir. And now I should be able to remove two 10 millimeter nuts. Each are holding that entire assembly. Oops, <laughs> in the motor of the nuts it's on the floor on the down there and we will see the whole thing right look at this 
Perfect. I love that. Now it's time to clean it. Now what I'm doing here, I close the whole reservoir, right? And I sprayed the brake cleaner inside of that larger tube in the hopes that that will take care of that terrible residue which is inside. Somehow I see chunks of it separating from the walls, right? Do you see there's still the black spots? But it was all black before. Like for example, here, do you see that? But it's starting separating. This reservoir is looking pretty good. So I will go and try to remove more of that old fluid from that power steering system. To get most of this fluid out, I will continue with this mighty vac, right? And what I will do, I will open first the thinner hose. I wish they were straight because I could go all the way in. But look, it's going, it's going down. This is good. I will apply the suction. And you can see, right? You can see the color change and it's getting a little bit more fluid. It's unfortunately not very much. I will open the larger hose and I will do the same, right? Using that mighty bag. So I'm going to install back this reservoir, right? Let's just reverse what we did. Everything is in the place, so here come the Dexron 380F, right? I will carefully start pouring it in. I don't want to have any spills. And this is light red, kind of pinkish fluid, right? I observe it for a little while if it's disappearing in those hoses which were empty but it's not this is clean so I will close the whole reservoir and I will do my first startup the level went immediately from the max to the minimum so I will add the fluid because I don't want to be running it on minimum right you can actually nicely see the level so I'm putting the new fluid, right, now I can close it and I will go and start turning the wheels to make the power steering system work, right, and circulate that fluid through the entire system. An important note is when I was doing that, right, the running motor and turning the wheels, what is important, you don't leave it in that end position. You don't hold it against the end, against the, you know, full circle or whatever they will call it, because you will damage the power steering pump. So anytime you hit one of those ends, either right or left, you don't hold it there and you keep turning the other way. The reservoir is empty, right? I got all that fluid out. So I will pour again that brand new fluid until I will have it on the max and then I will repeat what I just did. And I will keep doing that until I will have a perfectly clean power steering fluid or let's say this is the ATF Dexron 3, right? What it means in the practical world, I will probably use three these quarts to be satisfied with the results and considering that a fluid really good one. 
And that's all from me in this video. I hope you find it helpful and please make sure you are subscribed because I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day my friend.